Hello, great to come your way again on business. My name is Imanu Abuaji Viafi. Now, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, COPEC, says it can confirm a 4% increase in fuel prices at most of the filling stations in the country. The claim by COPEC is, however, in sharp contradiction to the National Petroleum Authority's announcement that it had activated the use of the stabilization levy, which is used to cushion prices. According to the NPA, prices of fuel products will remain unchanged from January 1, 2018 till February. Executive Director of COPEC, Duncan Amwa, clarified further on the marketplace earlier. Hey, if you check with Petrosol, it's uh, equally up. Uh, a couple of them have also adjusted. Uh, what is happening currently is that uh, the many others are equally waiting for gold to determine uh, what price they would sell for. And so it is a mixed situation where some prices have been adjusted, others uh, have not gone up yet. Uh, we are, are only seeking to get authorities aware that indeed prices have not been stabilized as uh, they were hoping or expecting, and that it is rather going up. And uh, we expect something to be done about these developments in order to forestall any hardship uh, that these developments will bring onto. Uh, the average ordinary gun. The NPA has uh, sought to uh, play with the stabilization and report the VCQ rate 1st of uh, December. Uh, fuel prices could have gone up. Sadly, uh, uh, rather good for all of us. Uh, the stabilization level was kicked in. Uh, what you get from the industry is that they were seeking to do some 13 uh Some 7 uh was kicked in through the stabilization levy. And so they still had some six uh, uh income in somewhere. Uh, today, they still talk of uh, international market prices haven't gone up uh, due to the extreme winter conditions uh, in most parts of Europe and the Americas. And uh, that is putting some pressure uh, on, on petroleum products. The demand has gone up. And uh, what it means is that in the coming days, prices on the world market are likely to even go higher than they are currently. Meanwhile, the Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASEP, has criticized the use of the stabilization levy to cushion prices in the long term. Executive Ben Boache, Executive Director Ben Boache says enough funds have not been accrued to cushion the impact of hikes and the reality will soon dawn on consumers again. If you use a stabilization fund and you're exhausted, what happens beyond that? It means that you have to hit us with the right price. Other than that, government will have to subsidize. And that's what consistently we have said, that that stabilization levy ought to move away uh, from the product. We have to take it down so that we can work with the market and let the public know that those levies don't exist. And therefore, when prices go up on the international market, we have to pay. Uh, 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 for, for that price. Because now, you are stabilizing up to uh, February, and then you hit us uh, 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 with the right price. And that could be hurting, you know, for industry, uh, for business. Because Ghana, everybody depends on, on petroleum products. You know, we need petroleum products to move around, because our transport system uh, is symbolic, it's not efficient, and you can rely on it to even attend uh, uh, to, to office work. And therefore, um, the only way people uh, are able to move around is when they have petrol in their cars, uh, uh, you know, to go to work and also uh, uh, to produce. So we need to make sure that the prices can be stable, and um, uh, 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 and the way to do that is to limit how much taxes we are piling on, including the levy. Second Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Johnson Isiama, has finally tendered in his resignation letter. This actually confirms an earlier report put out by Joy Business about an oral communication of his resignation. Meanwhile, banking consultant Nana Utue Champong, highlighting the implications of the current development, says it would not have any effect on the banking industry. Uh, it was expected because uh, nobody forced him out. He has resigned voluntarily uh, because of whatever reason that he may have uh, harbored. So uh, it's, it's accepted. Mm. Um, it's, it's one would have thought that uh, having been appointed just a couple of years ago, he would stay in longer to, to work with uh, the new administration, but it wasn't. So 
It's accepted. Mm. I, 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 the best when you talk about it was expected, it looks like you have more deeper information than we do. But some will also speak about the fact that uh, it wasn't a voluntary exit and the fact that he was pushed out and all the rest. What do you, what do you uh, say about this one? No, I, I wouldn't say anybody pushed him out. If there's any push, then he pushed himself out because uh, it's a position that you are supposed to be one of a member of a team of three uh, leading as advisors to government. And, and therefore, if you are able to work with the members of the team, then uh, your position is tenable. But if you are unable to work with the members of the team, then it becomes untenable. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying he wasn't forced out. He uh, tendered in his, his resignation. It all depends on the persona. Uh, if they want to work with the team and they are prepared, the team will work with them. But if they come in and a new government comes and you are still holding on to the um, policies and issues of the previous government, then it makes it a bit difficult. Mm. So that teamwork is necessary, it's, mm. it's paramount, yes. Do you think that whoever will take over, if for instance uh, tomorrow Georgia is appointed as the second deputy governor, one would argue that would there be pressure on that person, looking at all these things that have happened? No, that, um, I, I disagree. There, there wouldn't be any pressure. Uh, what the person that he or she will have to do, as I said, uh, is to be able to play as a member of the team. And once he or she is able to do that, then it should be fine. Because at the end of the day, there's three of you, but the main one, who is the governor, is there. And then the two are supporting the governor uh, as members of the team. So there shouldn't be pressure on that person at all. How soon should the president name the successor, because some will see, as we speak, when there's vacuum, there are only two governors there. The work at the Bank of Ghana is very, very hectic. Uh, how soon should we have a new person uh, being named by the president and go through all the process uh, to take over this position? As soon as yesterday, mm -hmm. because in this resignation, uh, it's been around for a while, so I would have thought that the government or the president would have done all the necessary work, knowing that uh, it was a matter of time. And so if we can have one within the next day or two, maximum a week or two, uh, it, it will be appreciated because the MPC needs, uh, you know, the whole team to be able to work. And, and since the MPC is ongoing, then we expect that they won't leave the vacuum for too long as it has happened sometime in the past. That's all we have for you by way of business tonight. And for more business news, log on to myjournal.com slash business. My name is Imano Apuachi. We have you. Enjoy the weekend.